price of paper, we first need to explain how paper is priced in the commercial printing industry. There are two options, so in this lesson, we will define what M-sheet pricing is and then practice calculating the price of paper using M-sheet pricing. The second option is 100 weight pricing or CWT pricing, so we'll define what that is and then practice calculating the price of paper using the 100 weight formula. In addition to the basic process for calculating the price of paper, either by sheets or by weight, uh, we will take our calculations one step further by doing additional calculations to figure out how many sheets are needed before we're able to calculate the price of the paper. Let's get started by answering the question, how is paper priced in the printing industry? When purchasing paper for use in the commercial printing industry, it is priced as either CWT or M-sheet pricing. CWT pricing, also known as 100 weight pricing, is pricing per 100 pounds of paper, which requires that we know how much the paper weighs before we can figure out how much it will cost. The second option is M-sheet pricing, and M-sheet pricing is pricing per 1,000 sheets of paper, which, as it sounds, requires us to know how many sheets of paper we are purchasing. Paper vendors will provide both M-sheet and 100 weight or CWT pricing, but it doesn't matter which price you go with, the pricing should be the same either way. However, it may be more convenient for you to use 100 weight CWT or M-sheet pricing depending on what you know about the paper. Paper companies require that the paper is purchased in even packages, cartons, or skids. So for example, it can get confusing sometimes when you're using M-sheet pricing, which is the pricing per 1,000 sheets of paper, when the paper is packaged in cartons of 750 sheets. So most printers use 100 weight pricing to avoid confusing the paper price in 1,000 sheets with how many sheets must be purchased. So in this example, you have to purchase um, in even numbers of 750 cartons. The first way to price paper, and really the easier way to price paper, is called M-sheet pricing. M-sheet pricing is the pricing per 1,000 sheets of paper. It is calculated using the size of paper that we are purchasing, not the size that we're running on press, if it's different from the size we're purchasing, or the size of the item that we're producing. So if we're purchasing 25 by 38 inch sheets of paper, and they're going to be cut down to 19 by 25 inches to run on our press, the size of paper that we are purchasing is 25 by 38 inches, and our PSS, our press sheet size, is 19 by 25. In this example, you may hear the purchase size described as PAR, parent sheet, P-A-R stands for parent sheet, and then the run size as the PSS, the press size sheet. For the purposes of this course, to keep things simple, we will always purchase the same size paper that we are going to run on our press. So our parent sheet is always the same as our press sheet. But you should be aware that, that doesn't, it's not always the case. You don't have to always run the size paper that you purchase through your press. When you calculate the M sheet price, you will do the following. One, calculate the number of sheets that you need for your job. Two, we'll divide the total number of sheets by 1,000, and then we'll multiply it times whatever the M sheet price is. M in the metric system is 1,000, so that's what that represents. Let's try an example together. How much will 37,000 sheets of 26 by 40 inch, 120 pound Utopia dull coated cover cost? You've received a quote from your paper vendor that is telling you that the paper is priced at $215 per M. That's the M sheet price. So to calculate this paper, we'll take step one, calculate the total number of sheets needed. It's given to us, so we don't actually have to calculate it. The answer is we're purchasing 37,000 sheets of paper. We'll divide the total number of sheets by 1,000. So 37,000 divided by 1,000 is 37. And then we'll multiply it times whatever the M sheet price is. In this case, it's $215 per thousand. So we'll multiply 37 times 215, and the total price of the paper is uh, $7,955. Now I did that in the, the numbered list here. If you're more of a visual working the, the math out on paper person, it's number of PSS divided by 1,000 times M sheet pricing is the total cost of the paper. This is the formula that we're using. So we can take 37,000 uh, sheets of paper divided by 1,000, 
multiply it times 215 per M and we get $7,955 is the total cost of all of those sheets of paper. See if you can do this next example on your own. It's just like the first one. You'll have to find the answers in the problem, but you don't have to calculate the number of sheets. It's already given to you. So this problem is how much will 240,250 sheets of 23 by 35 inch 60 pound Lynx opaque text cost? You've received a quote from your paper vendor that this paper cost $155 per M or per thousand sheets. Pause the video and take a minute to calculate the total cost of the paper. When you're ready, push play and we'll go through the answer together. So the total number of sheets needed is 240,250 sheets. When we divide that by 1,000, we get 240.25 and then we can multiply it times the, the M sheet price, which is $155 per M. So 240.25 times 155 comes out to 37,000 238.75 and that is the total cost of that paper. If you're more of a word, uh, um, more of a number problem and less of a word problem person, the formula is number of sheets divided by a thousand, so 240,250 divided by a thousand times the M sheet price which is 155. So 240,250 divided by a thousand comes out to 240.25. When you multiply that times 155 it comes out to 37,000 $238.75. When you are ready, you can move on to the next phase of calculating M sheet pricing. So we're still on option one. Um, oftentimes when it's time to figure out the cost of the paper portion of a printing job, you will need to figure out how many sheets are you are printing before you're able to calculate the cost of those sheets. So in the next example, I am going to require you to calculate the number of sheets needed before you can use the M sheet pricing formula to calculate the cost of the paper. If you need help with this, you can always go back and reference the packaging and shipping lesson and the calculating ink coverage lesson for a review of the number out formula. So it's the number out option one versus option two formula. Don't forget that you always need to calculate option one and option two in case one of the options has more out. Once you calculate the number out, we are going to use the sheets needed, the press sheets needed formula, which is quantity of items being produced divided by number out to calculate the total number of sheets needed. As a friendly reminder, when calculating number out, you ignore the decimals. They don't exist. Just drop them off of your problem. And when you're calculating the number of sheets needed, um, no matter what the answer comes out to, you're going to round it up to the next whole number. So let's go through uh, an expanded example together. What is the cost of the paper portion of your printing job if you will be printing 1,200,000 5 by 7 inch cards on 26 by 40 inch sheets of paper? The paper is 100 pound Finch Fine cover and it is priced as 288 per M. That's the M sheet price. Let's walk through the example together. First, we need to calculate how many sheets are needed before we can use the M sheet pricing to calculate the price of the paper. However, the formula to calculate sheets needed requires us to input the number out, and we don't know that yet. So we need to calculate the number out, then calculate the number of sheets needed, then we can calculate the cost of a paper. The number out formula takes your, your paper size and divides it by your item size. In this case, we are printing five by seven inch cards on a 20 by 26 by 40 inch sheet of paper. So we take 26 by 40 and divide by five by seven. When we do option two, we switch the bottom values. Everything else stays the same. So we take our 26 by 40 inch sheet of paper, and this time we divide it by our item as being seven by five, seven inches by five inches. Whatever the answers come out to, we do not care about the decimals. So five will go into 26 five times, but it will not go in a six time. If you put it in your calculator, it comes out to 5.2. I don't care about the 0.2, so I'm just gonna say it goes in five whole times. Seven goes into 40 five times, but it will not go in a six time. Technically, the answer will come out to 5.71, but I only care about the, the five, the whole number. And there's a typo here that I have to fix. So 
when we say that the number out on option one, we will say it's five across and five tall, which will produce 25 cards on this 26 by 40 inch sheet of paper. We'll do the same thing for option two. 26 divided by seven is three and change. It technically comes out to 3.71. So we'll say it goes three times. Five goes into 40 exactly eight times. So it will go in eight times. Three times eight is 24. So even though we tested option two, option one is a larger number. So we'll say for the purposes of this problem, we're gonna run this job 25 out on 26 by 40 inch sheets of paper. Now that we know how many out, we can use that to calculate how many sheets of paper we need. The formula to calculate number of sheets needed is the items, the quantity of items you're producing divided by the number out. We are producing 1,200,000 cards. When you divide that by 25 cards per press sheet, you will calculate that you need 48,000 press sheets. Finally, after we have calculated that we need 48,000 press sheets, we can finally calculate how much those press sheets weigh. The formula that we use is the number of sheets divided by 1,000 times the M sheet pricing. We calculated that we need 48,000 sheets divided by 1,000. It comes out to 48. And then if you multiply that times 288, the total cost for the paper for this job would be $13,824. That was a lot, so I would like you to pause, review that problem, and when you're ready, I want you to give example two a try on your own. When you're ready, push play, and we'll go through the answer together. So in this example, we are going to calculate number out, how many sheets are needed, and what they cost. The problem is, what is the cost of the paper portion of your printing job? You will be printing 18,600 three and a half by two inch business cards on 11 by 17 inch sheets of 120 pounds satin coated cover that's priced at $170 per M. There's a lot of information in the problem. So instead of looking at the problem, ask yourself what formula you're using. So the first formula is the number out formula. So we need to calculate number out that's number out option one versus option two our sheet size is 11 by 17 and we'll divide it by our item size so 11 by 17 will be divided by three and a half by two in option two we'll switch the bottom values so we'll take 11 by 17 in this case we'll divide by two inches and three and a half inches three and a half goes into 11 3.14 times again i don't care about the the decimal so i'll say it goes in three times and then two goes into 17 eight and a half times, but I don't care about the decimal, so I'll say it goes in eight times. Eight times three produces 24 out for option one. If we rotate the item and change the orientation that we're going to print it on the page, we will divide 11 by two and get five and a half. Again, we'll just keep five because that's the whole number. And then three and a half goes into 17 4.85 times. I don't care about the decimal, so I'll say it goes in four times. 5 times 4 is 20, so option 2 produces 20 out. 24 is larger than 20, so the correct answer is that we will print this 24 out on 11 by 17 inch sheets of paper. Then, once we know how many we'll print per sheet, we can take the total item quantity, 18,600 business cards, and divide it by 24 cards per sheet. When you divide 18,600 by 24, it comes out to... 775 press sheets. Knowing that we need 775 press sheets, we can then calculate the price per M or M sheet pricing. The formula we use is the number of sheets. In this case, it's 775 sheets divided by 1,000. So it comes out to 0.775. And then multiply that times the M sheet price, which in this case, from our problem, we know it is $170 per M. So um, 0.775 times 170 means that this paper for this job would cost $131.75. The second way to price paper is called CWT or 100 weight pricing. C in the metric system is 100, WT stands for weight. 
CWT pricing is pricing per 100 pounds of paper, which requires that we know how much the paper weighs before we can figure out how much it will cost. It is calculated using the weight of the paper, not the number of sheets of paper. So instead of dividing by 1,000 sheets, we are going to divide by 100 pounds. So we need to make sure that we are using sheets when calculating M sheet pricing and weight when we are calculating hundred weight pricing. The steps that we will follow to calculate hundred weight pricing are very similar to M sheet pricing. One, we need to calculate the number of sheets that we need. Two, this is new, we need to calculate the weight of the paper for the job. Then we'll use our formula to divide the, num the pounds of paper by a hundred. And step four, we'll then finally multiply it times the hundred weight price. I recommend writing the formula down. The formula is pounds of paper divided by 100, and then we'll multiply that times 100 weight pricing. Um, I made 100 red and bold because it never changes. It's the only value that will never change in this formula. So let's work through an example together. How much will 26,000, I'm sorry, 25,600 sheets of 19 by 25, 28 pound writing paper cost? You've received a quote from your paper vendor for $88.95 per CWT. So without even telling you this is a hundred weight pricing problem, if you're looking at the paper price and it says 106 per M, that is M sheet pricing. And if it says in this example, 88.95 per CWT, that should indicate to you that you need to know the weight of the paper because the paper is priced per 100 pounds. So step one, calculate the number of sheets needed. It tells us we need 25,600 sheets, so I'll just plug that in to my answer. Step two, we need to do some work. Calculate the weight of the paper for the job. This references the paper weights lesson. So if you need to review these steps, make sure you go back to that lesson for a review. When calculating the weight of paper, we use the formula that you see here. Our paper size divided by the basic paper size, multiplied times the number of sheets divided by 500, times the basis weight. So you need to know the answer to those four variables before you can move forward. So my paper size based on the problem is 19 by 25 inches. The basic size is 17 by 22. That's not in the problem, but it is in the problem because we can figure out that the problem tells us we're using writing paper. During the paper weights lesson, we made a list of basic paper sizes. Bond and writing paper has a basic size of 17 by 22 inches. So I knew the basic size was 17 by 22, even though it didn't tell me because I know the basic size for writing paper is 17 by 22 inches. We are printing 25,600 sheets divided by 500 because we always divide by 500 in the basic, um, in the paperweights formula. And then the basis weight of the paper, looking at the problem, is 28 pounds. When we simplify, 19 times 25 comes out to 475 inches squared, and 17 times 22 comes out to 374. When you divide 475 by 374, it comes out to 1.27 and a bunch of decimals. Leave that in your calculator. Then when we simplify the second column, 25,600 divided by 500 comes out to 51.2, and then we just keep bringing down the basis weight. The final math problem we get is that big long decimal 1.27005375 and more. Leave that in your calculator, don't round it, and then multiply that times 51.2 and then times 28 pounds. That comes out to 1,820.7486631 pounds. We round the weight of paper to two decimals, so the correct answer for this problem is the paper weighs 1,820.75 pounds. Now that we know that, we can move on to step three, which is to divide the total weight of paper by 100, and then step four, we'll multiply it times the 100 weight pricing. So we're using this paper, this um, CWT pricing formula. We have calculated our paper weight to be 1,820.75. When you divide that by 100, it moves a decimal two places to the left, so the answer you should get for the first part of this formula is 18.2075, and then when you multiply it times 88.95 as the 100 weight pricing, the total price of this paper is $1,619.56. I know that was a lot, but I would like you to try this next example on your own. See how far you can get 
And when you're ready, press play and we'll go through the answer together. In this example, we are printing 287,400 sheets of 26 by 40, 100 pound cover. It is priced at $92.80 per hundred weight. The first thing we need to do is identify the number of sheets we're printing, and that's 287,400 sheets. Then we need to calculate the weight of the paper, which makes us reference the paperweights formula from the paperweights lesson. Our sheet size is 26 by 40, and we'll divide that by the basic size of cover paper. The basic size of cover is 20 by 26. 20 times, uh, 26 times 40 is uh, 1,040. 20 times 26 is 520. 1,040 divided by 520 is 2, so it comes out to an even number, which is nice. We are printing 287,400 sheets. When we divide that by 500, it comes out to 574.8, and the basic uh, basis weight of our paper is 100 pounds, and I pulled that from the problem. 2 times 574.8 times 100 comes out to 114,960 pounds of paper. Finally, we can then calculate how much the paper costs. And we can do that by taking the weight of paper, 100, where did I go? Uh, 114,960 pounds, divide it by 100, it moves the decimal two places to the left, so it should come out to 1,149.6, and then multiply that times 92.8, and the total cost of the paper portion of this job is $106,682.88. On a side note, that sounds like a lot of money, but you are purchasing 287,400 sheets of paper, and in general, paper is about 50% of the cost of any printing job. Okay, let's take this one step further. What if we are not told how many sheets of paper we need before we have to calculate the 100 weight pricing? I know it sounds like a lot, but I think we can do it. So let's calculate the number of sheets needed, then calculate the weight of the job, then calculate the price of the paper. So in this first example, and we'll walk through it together, we are going to identify what is the cost of the paper portion of a printing job. We will be printing 375,018 by six inch table tent cards on 20 by 26 inch sheets of paper. The paper is 100 pound finch fine cover and it's priced at $102 per hundred weight. The first thing we need to do is calculate how many sheets are needed. This is the exact same thing that we did for the M sheet pricing. We have to do it anyway for CWT pricing, but it, it's literally the same. So we need to figure out how many sheets we need. And in order to do that, we need to know how many out. So we'll take our sheet size in this example is 20 by 26 and we'll divide it by our item size of 18 by six. So 20 divided by 18 comes out to one end change or 1.11 to be exact. And 26 divided by six comes out to 4.33. We can only put a whole table tent card on the sheet. So we'll say we have four. So we can print one times four or four out in the first option. For option two, we'll rotate the bottom value. Six goes into 20 3.33 times or three whole times and 18 goes into 6, 1.44, or 1 whole time. 3 times 1 produces 3 out. Because 4 is greater than 3, we'll say the correct answer is 4 out for this problem. Now that we know we have 4 out, we can take the total number of table tents we're producing, which is 375,000, and divide that by 4 out, which produces 93,750 sheets of paper. Now, this gets us just back to the base process for calculating the price of paper based on the 100 weight pricing. Now that we know how many sheets we need, we can calculate the weight of those sheets. And that takes us back to the paper weights formula. Our sheet size, which we've already determined for this problem, is 20 by 26. It is a 100 pound cover, so the basic paper size is also 20 by 26. 20 times 26 is 520. 520 divided by 520 is 1. We are printing, which we just calculated, 93,750 sheets of paper. So we're producing 375,000 items, but we only need 93,750 sheets. 
When we divide that by 500, it comes out to 187.5. And our paper, based on the information we received, is 100 pound uh, basis weight. 1 times 187.5 times 100 means that the weight of this paper is 18,750 pounds. Now that we know that, we can calculate the actual price of the paper. For 100 weight paper pricing, we'll divide the weight of the paper by 100, so 18,750 divided by 100. It comes out to 187.5 if you're checking that in your calculator. And then multiply it times the 100 weight price. And for this paper, the 100 weight price is $102 per 100 weight. So 187.5 times 102 comes out to $19,125 for the paper. See if you can work through this next problem on your own. Pause the video and when you're ready, we'll move forward and we'll calculate the answer together. So this problem is asking what is the cost of the paper portion of your printing job? We are printing 68,900 pocket folders. They must be printed as 19 inches by 17 inches. That's the flat size. <coughs> Excuse me. That's the flat or the open size of the pocket folder when it's laid out for a die line. And then we're going to print it on 26 by 40 inch sheets of paper. That paper will be 120 pounds satin coated cover and it will cost us $116 per hundred weight. The first thing we need to do is figure out how many out we can print our job. So we will take our sheet size, which is 26 by 40, and divide it by our item size, and our item is 19 by 17. In option two, we'll flip those bottom numbers and divide by 17 by 19. 19 goes into 26 one whole time, or 1.36, and we'll keep the whole number. 17 goes into 40 twice, so uh, we'll say it goes in two times. 1 times 2 is 2 out, so test option 1 produces 2 out. If we switch the bottom values, 17 goes into 26 1.52 times, but we don't care about the decimal, so we'll say it goes in 1 time. 19 goes into 40 twice, or 2.1 times, but we'll keep the whole number. 1 times 2 equals 2, so option 2 also produces 2 out. So the number out for this job will be 2 out, and it doesn't matter which way we orient the, the layout. Now that we know it prints two out, we can take the total quantity, so we're producing 68,900 pocket folders, we'll divide it by two out, or two pocket folders per sheet, which means we need to print 34,450 sheets of paper. Now that we know how many sheets of paper, because the pricing is given to us in hundred weight pricing, we need to calculate the weight of the paper. So we'll use the paper weights formula, our paper size, which we've already identified, is 26 by 40. It's cover paper, so the basic size is 20 by 26. 26 times 40 is 1,040. 26 times, uh, 20 times 26 is 520. 1,040 divided by 520 comes out to 2, an even number. We calculated that we're printing 34,450 sheets of paper. When you divide that by 500, it comes out to 68.9. And the basis weight of our paper, based on the problem, is 120 pounds. 2 times 68.9 times 120 comes out to 16,536 pounds of paper. Finally, we can calculate the price of the paper. Because it's 100 weight paper, we're going to take the weight of the paper, 16,536 pounds, divide it by 100, which makes it 165.36 and then multiply it times the 100 weight price of $116 per 100 weight. That comes out to $19,181.76. To recap this lesson, we first explained how paper is calculated in the commercial printing industry, and the options that you have are M sheet pricing or 100 weight pricing. We practiced uh, calculating M sheet pricing by first defining what M sheet pricing is and then working through some practice problems together. Then we took it one step further by um, requiring you and me to work together to calculate the sheets needed before we could calculate the cost of the paper. After we felt comfortable with M sheet pricing, we did the same for 100 weight pricing. We defined what 100 weight pricing is. We did some practice problems to calculate the weight of the paper pricing. And then we took it one step further 
to calculate how many sheets are needed before we could calculate the weight and the price of the paper. At this point, you should be able to explain the difference between M sheet pricing and 100 weight pricing and calculate paper pricing based on customer specifications for a print job, even if you're not told what the paper pricing is. If you see that the pricing is listed as $106 slash M or $102 slash CWT, you should immediately know that you need to either calculate the sheets needed for the M sheet pricing or the weight of the paper for 100 weight pricing.